welcome to the Mathly YouTube channel. The following video was recorded by one of our staff members. Hello, Taiki. I'm having this hard time beating this one ice level. Apparently, Jet talked about in the comments about how he, he spent the first Tuesday all the way to the fourth Thursday. And now I'm trying to figure out how long that he is playing. So for this problem, we have two different cases. So I should probably be more specific with what year it is, but I don't think Jet talked about that. Well, let's just ask for the sum of all possible number of days that Jet could have played. What? The, either way, the first thing that we're going to need to do is find a good calendar set up, writing the days of the week. And the two cases are the first Tuesday and the first Thursday of June are on the same week. So that happens when we have something of the form x and Thursday would be x plus 2 here. If Tuesday is on day x, then Thursday would be on day x plus 2, right? So now we go to the fourth Thursday of June. So each since each week has seven days, we can go x plus seven plus two, which is nine, and then x plus nine plus seven, which is sixteen, and finally x plus seven plus sixteen, which is twenty-three. So that means that there is a twenty-three day gap, but n is not going to equal twenty-three because we have to include the original day first. So the, the n here in this case will be 23 plus 1, which is 24. Now let's consider a second case where we have x on the Thursday, but Tuesday is not going to be here. Instead, it's going to be here and the week after the first week here. And so similarly, if the first Thursday is on day x, then we can go Friday is plus 1, Saturday plus 2, Sunday plus 3, Monday plus 4. So Tuesday would be x plus 5. And similarly, we can go plus 2 and we get x plus 7 here. So the first Tuesday of June will be on day x plus 5. And in a similar manner, we can go add 7 to each day of the Thursday, so we can go up to x plus 14 for the third Thursday and x plus 21 for the fourth Thursday. In a similar way, we cannot just do 21 minus 5 because that only includes one of the end dates. So instead we have to do 21 minus 5 plus 1, which is 17. So for case 2, we have 17 as our value of n. Finally, we just have to add these two values, 24 plus 17, and this gives us 41 as our final answer. Thanks, Taiki. All right, I'm actually close to the end right now, and oh, I died right at the end. Well, it's getting late at night, so I'll probably just save it for the next day. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.